Using the Durable AI website builder, you can create stunning sites like these in literally less than 30 seconds without having to write a single line of code. Hence why in today's Durable tutorial, I will show you step by step how to build up your first site using Durable. I will also go over all of the other great features which Durable has to offer like their CRM, their invoicing features and so on. To get started, let's head over to the Durable website. I will also leave you my affiliate link to Durable down below which you guys can use to support me for completely free. Either way, once we are right here, just click on generate your website and then we will have to put in the type of business which we are building. So I'm just going to put in personal trainer and when clicking on next, we can then actually set the business location right here. And on this page, we can actually also change the website language. So if you do want to have your website in another language than English, you can choose that right here. Either way, let's now click on next and then right here we will have to put in our business name so we can then actually also see some name suggestions right here. I'm just going to go with peak performance trainers as an example and then this will actually generate your website. This shouldn't take more than 30 seconds. And once our website is ready, we will then have to actually sign up to view and customize our website. So I'm just going to continue with Google. And once we've signed up, we can then actually view and also customize our site right here. Now, by default, I think this already does look pretty good. However, obviously, we will still have to customize this. I would recommend you to just use the default generated website as a wireframe, as a starting point, and to then actually build upon that to customize this based on your own brand, on your own brand identity, essentially. So let's actually get started with this. First off, if you do want to change the whole look of your site, you can always head over to customize right here. This will then actually give you the option to change the template. You are going to have some different options available right here, which you can actually all choose from. Additionally, if you don't like any of these options, you can always regenerate your whole site by using this button on the top right. When closing this, we can actually also see that under customize, we are going to have some other options like colors, fonts, buttons, styles, widgets, and so on. So let's for example open up the color step right here. Right here we can then actually set the color palette for our site. We can of course add our own custom color palette or we can actually also use any of these pre-made color palettes depending on different kind of styles. So in my case I'm just going to go for something light and we can then actually use any of these color palettes right here. So let's actually just play around with this. And in this case, I'm just going to go for this color palette right here, as I think it suits the style of a personal trainer really good. Now, if we would actually want to add or delete certain sections, we would just have to hover over them and under the three dots, we can then actually either delete them or we can actually then by clicking on add section right here, also add new sections. By default, you are going to have a lot of pre-made sections available. So if we would, for example, want to add an image gallery, we could just click on here and then we are going to have some different options. We can, for example, add an image grid like we already had by default. And this is how the section now is going to look like. Now, if you don't like a certain section, you can then actually always use this restyle button right here to get different kind of restyles for your section. This is going to work for all of the different sections out there. So right here, let's for example, restyle this. And yeah, let's for example, go for this one. I think this section does look way better than the default one, which has been created. In this case, I'm just going to delete this section as I don't really think it's necessary to have. And we can then actually continue by customizing our site. So if you would actually want to customize certain elements, you can just click on them and now all of the item settings are going to show up on the right. So right here we can then first of all basically change the icon. So I'm just going to insert this icon right here. And now we have successfully updated this. Of course, we can actually also change the icon color as well as the title and content. And we can actually also use AI to get some help when changing the title and content. So we can just let AI regenerate this. And now this is going to say strength and conditioning programs. In fact, let's actually repeat this process. And let's now actually change the style of this section. And this now definitely looks better. So let's for example say that we would now want to actually move this section upwards. And in fact, let's actually move this section right above this achieve your fitness goal section. 
Well, to actually achieve this, simply just select the section and right here you are going to have two different arrows. So in my case, I'm just going to click on move up and now this got moved up. All right, so we've now successfully customized our homepage. Of course, if this would be my actual site, I would spend some more time with actually customizing this with my own images and so on. But for now, I think you have a good understanding of how this works. However, let me now show you how to add other pages onto your site. To do so, simply head over to pages right here and then just click on create page. By the way, if this for some reason is grayed out, make sure to just save your homepage. Either way, just click on here, click on create page and I'm just going to get started with a blank page. And I'm just going to use this page to basically introduce our fitness team. So I'm just going to click on add section and I'm then going to insert a team member section right here. Once again, we can always restyle this, but I think by now you already have an understanding how this works, so I'm just going to go for this style right here. So let's now actually change this page, because by default this is just going to be called new page. I don't really like this. So let's actually save this, and let's now click on pages right here, click on manage pages, and now we can access the settings. So in this case I'm just going to change the label to our team. And I'm also going to change the slug, so basically the URL destination to our team as well. Based on that, we can now regenerate the title. And we can also go over all of the other SEO stuff and so on if we want to. In my case, I'm simply just going to save this. And we can now preview the site by simply clicking on this slider right here. And this is how it is going to look like. If we would want to change this animation by default, we could simply just select the section right here. And under style and under animation, we can then actually change this. So for example, we could change this to a fade in animation. And this is then going to look something like this, which does look nice. Basically the animations are going to come down to your own preference either way. So let's actually head back to our homepage. To do so, simply just click on pages, click on home, and now let's actually also preview this page. So I actually really like how this is going to look like. I also like that we do have these slide in animations. I think this does look good. However, when looking at the header, we do have our text logo right here on the left, which is good. We also do have our, our team uh, text right here, or our team page, which also is good. However, this call us button, as you can see, I'm currently clicking this, but basically nothing happens. So let's actually change this and let's actually make this clickable. To do so, simply just change to the editing mode and then let's actually click on our header. Click on the three dots, click on edit website header and right here we can then actually see our button. So this would be the call us button. So we can then actually change this and we can edit this by clicking on here and this will then actually give you guys the link type. So we could actually either refer this to a new page this could be useful in some cases, so for example if you would want to create a contact us page then you could refer this button right here to this exact page. In my case we can then either just leave this at external and put in another website link or we can actually also change this to either mail and like this, this will then actually automatically open up the email client of your visitor and you can then actually also insert a mail address. Additionally we can actually also select phone. Now, as we have selected as a button text, call us, it would make most sense to actually put in a phone number right here. And once we've did so, this is now actually going to show up as a phone number and whenever someone is going to click on this, they are then actually going to open up their phone app and this will then automatically basically reach out to the phone number which you have put in right here. Additionally, we can then actually also view our sites in the different kind of breakpoints. So on the tablet, this is going to look something like this, or on the phone, and the phone is especially important because actually uh, most people are going to visit your site on the phone nowadays. So please make sure that this is actually well optimized for your phone. So let's now go over how to publish your site. To do so, first of all, head over to the home page right here on the top left. And right here, this is how the actual durable dashboard is going to look like. On the left, you can see that we do have our home tab. Then we are going to have the website settings, which we are mainly going to use throughout this video. However, there are also some other features, which I quickly do want to touch. Under marketing, you're basically going to have the option to create posts for each of your different marketing channels, be it Instagram for example, you can then actually select a topic and Durable will automatically help you with actually generating posts for this. This is super nice because with the AI you don't really have to do anything yourself, rather this is going to generate all of the text as well as the actual image. 
So this is how it is going to look like by default. Of course, you can always regenerate this and most of the time this isn't perfect by default and you will have to customize this so that it fits your own brand. But either way, this is a good starting point nonetheless. We can actually also head over to CRM and right here we actually do have a pretty powerful CRM given that it is just an additional feature inside your website account. Now a CRM is a customer relationship management tool, meaning that this is basically a place where you can keep track of all of your customers. So to demonstrate you this, I'm quickly going to import an example contact file. And now we will have to actually match all of the fields accordingly. And now we are going to have our imported contacts right here. Of course, we can actually also manually add contacts. And because we have this CRM right inside our website account, we can actually also add website contact forms to automatically get new leads for our CRM. So let's now actually click on it. And this is then actually going to give us an overview of all of the recent messages, the notes, the invoices, and so on. This invoices feature actually is also super powerful. Let's head over to invoices right here. This invoicing will basically allow you to select a certain kind of customer and to then actually automatically generate an invoice for this customer. This is great if you, for example, do have a different kind of service and if you often do create invoices and you can then easily just use this feature right here to actually generate invoices in a couple of seconds. Under brand, you can actually also set up your own brand. This is once again being used to generate all sorts of different content like text, photos, images, and so on. And under automation, this is also super important. You can actually enable marketing automations, which is super nice. But let's actually now get into how you can actually publish your site. Well, first of all, head over to the home tab right here. As you can see, our website currently is unpublished. To change this, we would have to first of all customize our domain. So let's do that right here. Now once again, I will leave you a link to Durable down below and by default, when you are going to use this link, you are going to get access to a free domain for your first year. So make sure to actually take advantage of that if you want to. You can then just click on get it and now you can actually access your new professional domain. So I'm not actually going to do this right now, let's rather just go with this nonetheless. Now right here on the right, you can then most likely see your website. Let's just open this up. Otherwise, you can actually also see this under the website tab right here on the left. Now, when we are going to now click on settings right here, we can actually see that the status is going to be unpublished. So to actually publish this, all which we will have to do is click on change right here, click on published, and now we can actually save this. And now website successfully is live. Under analytics, you can then see all of the different visits, most viewed pages, online users, and so on. Now, I really hope that this tutorial was helpful. If you still have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. 